Superman has to be faster. He's the best at everything. But speed is Flash's forte. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Uh, menstrual cycles. Oh, gross. Anyway, you'll never guess what my oh-so-loyal friend Carter did. Did you sign up for an online dating service to build a bunch of creeps? Oh, please, let that go. I still get messages from 69, you're so fine. Are you done? No. I asked my good friend Carter to get my jump drive back from the super lab, but instead he chickens out because the girl in charge is super hot. Why didn't you just get your own jump drive? Never gonna give you up, never gonna let you... That's not important. The point is, Carter failed to help me out because of a girl. I couldn't help it. I tried to speak, but all it came out was some gibberish that would have given Larry the Cable Guy a run for his money. Larry the Cable Guy? What, no good? It's just that his relevance ship has sailed. I personally would have used a mushmouth analogy. Mushmouth from Fat Albert? That's even more dated. Maybe you should have used Bush. I was gonna say Bush, but I thought that'd be too easy. I still say go with Mushmouth. Okay, okay, okay. What if I said instead, I tried to speak to her, but all that came out was a bunch of gibberish that would have given Brad Pitt doing a Scottish accent a run for his money. Huh? Mmm, Mushmouth. Anyway, so what do you need to do about those jump drives? Well, I'm obviously gonna have to go back there and hopefully I can overcome my fear of talking to hot girls. Why are you so afraid of talking to beautiful women? Oh, it's not just beautiful women, it's beautiful people in general. Ever since that day... Carter, don't you get it? You're too ugly to talk to those beautiful people. If I catch you talking to them again, it's detention! A teacher actually told you that? Well, apparently he was insane and was fired soon after that, but... The damage has been done, and I still can't talk to beautiful people. Not with that attitude, you won't. You need to march down there and redeem yourself, man. We believe in you. You know what? You're right. Why shouldn't I be able to talk to the beautiful people? I'm an okay-looking guy. It's my right as an American. I'm gonna pick myself up, march down that hallway, go to the super lab, and get back that jump drive! Yeah! You know, for once I wish we could just have a quiet lunch that didn't end in one of us making a scene. You know, you really didn't have to come with me here. Of course I did. You were there when I needed you the most that one time. Okay, so what are we doing again? I told you, I'm excavating my fort with all of these fireworks I put in here so we can make it bigger. Oh, yeah, must have slipped my mind. Okay, I'm gonna light all these fireworks and then we're gonna run like hell, okay? How many fireworks did you put in there? Run, run, run! The horror. The horror. Now get in there and redeem yourself, man. Stephanie was right. This is a chance to redeem myself. No more intimidation. Time to make my stance and get my friend's jump drive back. No matter what it takes. Oh, crap. There she is. Stay calm. Remember what you've been preparing yourself for. Hi. Pull yourself together, man. What? I said, listen up there, ma'am. You may think you're hot stuff because you're very attractive, but I'm here to help my friend and that's not going to stop me. Uh, I demand that you give me back my friend's jump drive and I demand you give it back now. Wait a minute. Are you talking about that guy I banned from here earlier? Perhaps. No doubt you falsely accused him for his crime of passion. Crime of passion? Didn't he tell you? He did what? And can you believe I told her it was a crime of passion? Rick Astley, Ron, really? Do you have no shame? I apologize for nothing. And what the heck, Carter? You didn't get my jump drive back. How could I after that? I completely embarrassed myself in front of that girl. How could you not tell me why you were banned? Well, you never asked, so I assumed it would be fine. Rick Asley has ruined another aspect of my life. Yes, that'll happen. But at least you were able to confront an attractive person. Of course I can never see her again, because I too am now banned from the super lab for just being associated with him. Hey, you knew the risks of being my friend. So where's Stephanie? Uh, building a new snow tunnel after what happened last time. 
I still can't believe the police let you off by saying you did it for a reality show. What kind of reality show involves firecrackers and snow tunnels? <laughs> I'd watch that show. I'm just surprised you had the time to do all this. Well, it wasn't that hard since I skipped all my classes. Probably not the best idea I've ever had. It's nice to see you have priorities. So what are you going to do now that they won't give you your jump drive back? Oh, don't worry. Let's just say it's not about what you know, it's about who you know. 